Hello everyone, I am Lyra Aliones, and in this video we are going to talk about downloading published research articles. Ah, kulang. Hacks. Alright, so as a researcher, as a student, so need natin i-access yung mga papers na makakatulong sa ating pag-aaral. So, in this video, I will uh, share to you my um, hacks in accessing those literature or papers. So, first one is using open source journals. So, um, open source journals, what is it? Ito yung uh, uh, na-access siya ng public. Okay, so, uh, meron lang mga ilang notes sa paggamit ng open source journals. First one is to look for journals that are indexed by Scopus or Web of Science. So, bakit? Kasi Scopus, particularly, is known as the largest abstract and citation database of peer-reviewed literature. Ibig sabihin, this will uh, tell kung gaano ka-legit yung isang journal or open source journal. So, kailangan uh, mas maigi na maghanap kayo ng uh, open source journal na indexed by Scopus. Okay? And uh, another thing is that open source journal is not equal. Not all equal. Kasi uh, may mga open source journal na predatory. And this means um, nananamantala. How? So, uh, nagre-request sila ng fee in order for the researcher to publish uh, the paper or the article and also to access the papers. And uh, kalimitan sa mga predatory open source journals, nagpapabayad sila and as long as nagpipay yung researcher to publish the paper or their paper, uh, ipapublish nila. So, not that valid. Hindi masyado na-validate yung paper. Hindi masyadong na-review ng maayos. Unlike sa mga open source journals na index ng, ng Scopus. Okay, so now, let's move on to a demonstration. Okay, so isa sa mga nagagamit na open source journal is Telcomnica. Okay, so this Telcomnica, uh, madali lang naman siyang mahanap just by searching sa inyong browser, like this one. So, yan. And once na mapunta ka na sa site, ito ang iyong nakikita. Ano nga ba muna ang Telcomnica? Telcomnica is a peer-reviewed international journal in English published for issues, issues per year. Okay, and uh, their aim is to publish high-quality articles dedicated to all aspects the, of the latest outstanding developments in the field of electrical engineering. So, maraming mga paper related sa electrical engineering na field. So, if you are looking for paper na ganun, uh, better na dito ka maghanap sa Telcomnica. And as you can see dito sa website nila, sa upper right, you can see Scopus. So, ibig sabihin, they are indexed by Scopus. Okay, so how do you get uh, papers in this uh, open source journal? So, one way is, uh, ito yung archives. Since latest sila palagi, mga developments regarding sa electrical engineering, so nagpo-post din sila or nagpo-publish ng mga papers by year or by date. Latest is June. Let's try this one, April 2021. So, dito naman sa right side, makita nyo may nakalagay na PDF. So, that's how you will obtain this paper just by clicking it. And then, napunta kayo, naridirect kayo sa another link. And then, download this PDF file. So, ganun lang kadali. Mag-download sa Telcomnica. So, once you save it... Okay, and then let's open it and makikita nyo na or maa-access nyo na yung paper. So, ganun lang kadali. Easy. Piece of cake. Ganun. And, um, paano ba natin masisiguro na ang isang open source journal ay 
legit na index ng Scopus. Malay ba natin? Ginamit lang nila yung name ng Scopus at nilagay dyan para masabing legit. So, we are going to check it sa site mismo ng Scopus. That one. www.scopus.com And dito, search na natin kung legit nga ba yung open source journal na puntahan natin, which is Dalcomnica. Yan. Okay, searching. And there, merong one result. And yes, totoong indexed ng Scopus. So, ayun lang uh, for open source journals. Now, let's move on sa pangalawang technique. And ito naman yung paggamit ng research gate. Okay, research gate. Dito sa research gate, you just have to look for authors whose articles are downloadable for free by the public. So, yun lang. Magsasearch ka lang doon ng mga available um, articles na pwede mong ma-download. So, let's see. Demonstrate na natin agad. Researchgate.net And then, normally, if you don't have an account for this um, website, uh, ito yung unang-unang mong makikita sa site nila. But, you can uh, access papers kahit hindi ka gumawa ng account dito. Uh, kunwari, um, topic na gusto mo is engineering. Then, ayan, lalabas na yung engineering mga publications. And, makikita nyo, full text available. Kapag ganyan, you can easily download the paper. Yan. And then, save natin. Yan. And then, let's open it. Ganun lang kadbilis. Now, dito sa research gate, may mga instances na you have to request for the full text of the paper kasi hindi nakaalaw na downloadable yung paper kaagad. So, let's have an example. So, let's see dito kay uh, Mr. Stephen Chapra. Isa sa mga highly cited researchers. Let's see. Okay, ayan. So, this one, di ba, merong nakalagay na full text available. And then, this, wala. Let's click it. And, makikita na natin yung request full text PDF. And, ayun nga lang yung medyo uh, hindi kagandahan dito. Kasi, hindi mo yan uh, magagawa unless merong kang account sa ResearchGate. So, sa mga walang account sa ResearchGate, uh, ang maa-access mo lang is yung mga free-to-download na papers. So, ayun lang. Last but not the least, this one is not recommended. It is the use of Sci-Hub. Why is it not recommended? Let's see. Let's try to search it. So first, you have you just have to search Sci-Hub. Open it on Wikipedia. And then, you'll have the information that you're looking for. Kung bakit hindi siya recommended. It is a shadow library website that provides free access to millions of research papers and books without regard to copyright. So, that's that's illegal. So, paano siya i-access? May kita mo dito sa gilid yung uh, available links. Para sa site niya, you just have to click. And maridirect ka na doon. So, paano nga ba? Ilalagay mo lang yung direct object identifier or doi, link, or any uh, title. Just search it. Let's try. So, dito sa na-download nating file, kuha tayo ng isang link. And then paste. And ayan. So, na-access yung mga paper. Through links 
or DOI or yung direct object identifier para siyang ID number ng isang paper. So, ayan. So, this is not really recommended but it is very useful sa mga uh, researcher na naghahanap talaga ng mga useful papers. Lalo na yung mga papers na uh, hindi naka-allow to be reviewed by the public. And um, for using Sci-Hub, uh, you should use this technique wisely and of course download at your own risk and there you have it the three techniques in accessing or downloading published research articles so i hope this video uh, will be helpful para sa iyong um, journey as a researcher that would be all thank you